Glasgow has a new reality show called Glow. I'm going to watch it for you so you don't have to. This is not an original idea. I first saw it done by two lads called Peter and Chris in Dublin who did their own swipe show based on a reality show called California, which was equally as bad. Uh, so in homage to them, I'm going to call this show Go, which is limerick slang for vagina. I have done this very quickly. I've just downloaded some video software. I've only ever had one video on YouTube. It was me laughing at Whacking Phoenix's forehead. Here we have James English, who is a personal trainer. I don't know what Tam the Stoner means. If you're not Scottish, Stoner means erection. Laura McDonald, hairstylist. Walking in many angles into our hair place. Oh, this guy, here's Brian Matthews, nightclub owner. A club I've never heard of. Everyone says he looks like Falcon Hoof. Denise Wilkie, bar manager. She's making a cocktail. Uh, matches the colour of her lipstick. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Rankin, nurse and ring girl. Nurse, can't really make fun of a nurse, but a ring girl. It's two weird jobs. I suppose she's an expert in rings in both jobs. Uh, guy who's trying to pretend he's not being filmed. Tommy McFarlane, club promoter. Looks like a shit Bond villain. Leanne Jeffrey, makeup artist. I don't know, does she make every, all these women look the same? She <laughs> she sprayed that woman like a spray Febreze into my bin. James Drummond, roofing company owner. Cat seller, what the fuck are these things? Oh, there you go, he's got a real job. I, they're doing so many angles of simple stuff here. Yep, but that's how you do a roof. Paddy Riley, professional boxer. Here he is having a fight. Oh, he's fighting himself. He's wearing a purple hood, can make a penis joke, but he is a boxer in the city I live in. Does everyone know who we got? Gemma McMahon. I've never known Gemma with a J before, always G. Barmaid and model. So Gemma with a G and she's a barmaid. Got it. Oh, come on. Who we got? Oh, someone's got a real job. Oh no, social media manager. You can save your password to log into Facebook. Joanne Ferry. Is that all of us? Oh god, this is awful. Right, good. Oh, that looks nice. That's the squinty bridge done by the Clyde. We should just show Glasgow like this, rather than have any of these orange people. Square Glow. I wonder if we'll see some fighting with Paddy. That's my guess. Oh, there he is. There's Paddy. He's in his ring. He's doing some sparring. The night before Paddy's professional debut, called it. Oh, we can miss for a high five there. How much can they show some training? Should have failed. Comes back. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good. Get the shot on the road. Let's do this, I don't know why people don't shake hands anymore. A little bit. A little bit. This other wee thing you've got going. This wee darling you've been seeing. And you were going to ask me about that. Aye, because it's probably a fucking yeah, scripted show. Jesus. Remember I told you the other night how we, how we met and... The table in this meal oh, has been shaking the entire it. time. Hey, there's Brian. I wonder what he's up to. See, it hasn't been explained if, if they all know each other or what. I, they haven't... None of these people have spoken yet. You know, a boxer genuinely died in a shitty Glasgow hotel like a month ago. Well, it's fire. Hope that didn't see her any hair. He's probably all waxed. These people, they like to be all brown and smooth, like a hot dog. Listen, Paddy wins the fight after about 10 minutes of footage. Okay, moving on. Oh, yeah, can I get your sleeve on? Ah, he's enjoying his moment. Good for him. Can I get a pint? Oh no, a handshake. Lad tried to handshake. A boxer wearing a glove. Alright, that's how you do it. Round two. Denise versus Gemma. Don't know what this is. Nothing's come up so far. Okay, two lassies have had a fight. Um, I guess. Oh, slow motion. Lovely. To be continued. 
in the episode next week. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, underwear. Oh, the lads. All the lads. These two kind of look like they're shitty uh, American Irishmen in like a Boston-based Mark Wahlberg film. The three lads sit about awkwardly drinking bottles of water and talking about the girls and some sort of charity event that's coming up. Okay, so we've moved on to the girls, it seems. This is very bizarre. They're having like a fashion show in what appears to be an industrial estate in Hamilton. This has went on for about five minutes. I cannot tell any of these women or chairs apart. I, I don't know who any of them are. There's the toll booth looking really nice. I like these clips to like a palate cleanser for all the shit. I got my kilt there last year. I'm guessing the boys are getting themselves a kilt for the charity event they keep talking about endlessly. Your man in the middle has like some proper 80s pedo glasses on. <laughs> there you go. There's funny me made earlier. <laughs> Paddy's having a, a wee juice. Got one waiting. Here comes his mate and an uh, orange life vest. Should I see her say that? Oh, she did remember like, I told you she said yeah. I was really drunk, which happens is all, but I was like, she is also like a lot younger. Yeah. As well, younger but than do you know me. What? Anyway, so she knew what she was doing, she was being disrespectful. Like, she knew that I was yeah. there and I'd been texting him. And I was feeling bad about talking over a lot, so I just left about 20 seconds of what they've been talking about. So I don't think you're missing out on much. Basically what's going on here is, is this woman's going, eh, you should just say it to my face and I, I'll say what I think about you to your face. I'll just zoom in there. Uh, just like what people say in every single show like this forever. We're finally at the charity event. Paddy's here with his date, the ring girl, and a bright orange bow tie. There's a bow as well. I wonder if someone thought Paddy was the chair. Oh, these were the two that were uh, fighting. I can't believe they've been arguing for so long that the people that edit this show have even fast forwarded it. This has honestly been like the majority of the show. I'm going to have to edit so much of this out. Oh, what a load of shit. Oh, God. Uh, here we have what looks like uh, Charlie Nicholas comforting your one who just got battered in the argument there. Because I've, I've got feelings for you and they're genuine and you know that. So I'm happy if you're happy. But um, listen, I've got a wee surprise for you to make you smile, so wait and I'll give you it right. Oh, a wee surprise. What's it going to be? Is that a fucking box of roses? <laughs> Just put it down. I uh, got you a box of roses. Uh, there it is. Do you think uh, someone told him what the women like and they meant like the box of chocolates and he spent like a grand? Oh, this is so awkward. What, is she going to have to like carry them about all night in the box? Yes! Yes, she does. Uh, spot Brian Falkenhoof in the back. He hasn't said a word uh, the entire show. I was really hoping to see him. But here's Brian getting in the background. Oh, there he is. Yeah, a bit of screen. Oh, not pushed out. Brian's not getting in. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, he's not getting in. Oh, he's trying to get in. Oh, fuck off. Let him in. Oh, gee. Oh, no, I don't, we'll never hear what he says. I hope. I hope. I'm going to watch the next episode just to hear what he sounds like. Here we go. Look at that hair and that smile. Oh, what a gorgeous man. He's, uh, he looks like he's getting a bit uh, Donald Trump there. He hasn't said much either. He wore his, uh, his hat. Um, I haven't enjoyed this, to be honest. But I've watched it for you. But I suppose they're trying to show Glasgow in a different light. 
and that we're all these fun, happy, uh, apparently healthy looking people. Uh, you know, we're not all these mad, uh, angry, alcoholic, violent people that just want to fight all the time. I genuinely wanted to punch her in the throat.